hey guys and uh, welcome uh, to another YouTube video. Uh, for those people who are new, my name is Maxi. Uh, I am 18 years old and then I'm an artist. I work primarily in watercolor and oil. And if you want to see more of my work like this, uh, please follow my Instagram and TikTok, uh, YouTube. I recently started with YouTube and TikTok, so yeah. Yeah, and today I'm going to be painting a really big um, watercolor painting. And the motif of this one is actually my extended family, uh, my cousins and uh, uh, my little brother. In these big paintings, I usually go over before I start painting and just when I'm done sketching, I go over with a kind of a hydrophobic glue that uh, preserves the white under so I can just paint over as much as I want and just keep it, uh, keep it white under so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, so that's what I'm doing with the background here because it's gonna, that's gonna be too much work to uh, save around the, all the characters. Uh, and yeah, the, the background was a real struggle because it was mainly just one color with a lot of like, cracks, like uh, obviously that's little waves. But uh, yeah, that's really hard to make so that it doesn't seem just flat and it has some depth in it. It needs to look like water and have uh, a lot of different tones because uh, what I was worried about was just a, like a black surface and that I will make the whole painting just not good. But I, I'm pretty happy with this, uh, the outcome of this at least. I only use white on top of the little, uh, the, on top of the waves of the highlights you can see coming through because that's really, it's pretty hard to preserve in that way. When I'm happy with the background, it puts on extra pressure to make the characters look good. Because uh, if they don't, I have to restart the whole process again. And this was a process. So that's why I'm making layers by layer by layer. So I can control the paints how I want them. Because watercolor is like really unpredictable. So I use it layer for layer so I can uh, adapt. So... Yeah, I can control the watercolor exactly how I want it. Yeah, and this I moved the from person to person when I was painting this. I think I like to focus on one thing first and get that done and then move on to each person. If I would paint all of them, it would become really overwhel overwhelming really quick. Second one done. Yes, sir. Now we got one, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. Nice. I think the most fun part was seeing this whole thing come together because it's kind of hard to see after you just paint a black background but when you each day week after week uh, seeing progress and uh, yeah I think it uh, really like uh, keep pushing because uh, I think this painting took me about uh, I think it was like a month and that was because I had uh, I graduated and uh, so I was really busy with family and uh, everything and celebration so uh, yeah I had to make time for that but yeah I really got done with it and I actually showed my extended family this picture and it was really fun because they could identify each person on the picture so yeah that's probably that's what I was striving for so yeah I'm really happy with that. Like why I picked this painting was mainly uh, like extended family and such, but also I love how the light hits uh, the bodies on this picture, that it's um, so sharp. And it's when it's that sharp, it's so much easier with watercolor. Yeah, and uh, while I was painting this, uh, it can go it can become really repetitive so i made sure to look at a lot of um i have books of different artists such as zorn under zorn uh, when he's he specifies and actually people uh, bathing or swimming uh, so yeah that was a big inspiration for this picture and it really helped me to um not just re repetitive and it's gonna become kind of dull at the end so yeah just new techniques and everything uh, the whole time mm -hmm. yeah um so when i paint my backgrounds uh i usually paint them uh, until i'm happy with them of course then i paint the the people but then i realize i that the background doesn't meet the level of um, detail in the people so that's why I always usually always have to go back and do it much darker in the uh, background to make the um, people in the front uh, pop out of the picture instead of kind of blending in uh, and I feel like sometimes I can be a little bit uh, sometimes I, I feel like I can be a little bit um, I am back after a while. I just graduated high school, so yeah, finally done. <laughs> Failed, but still. What'd you do? You don't make a copy of that one, do you? Do you? Det är bara typ jag kvar här och sen... Det där du på vänster. Mm. Och så du ville... Där du drar in hand. Inte längre. Där du hade in hand. Där? Ja. ja. Vem, är, vem är de andra då? Ja, det är ju Marcus och Nina och sen är Theo som kramar dem och Noah där nere. Ja, W. W, W. I know because I know.
yeah please leave a like and subscribe and please go follow my instagram i'm trying to get to uh, 30k and um if you're interested in buying prints with i'm doing uh, two print drops each year so uh yeah make sure to go to my instagram because everything's gonna be on there thank you Done.